mentioned started to like appear in in very curious places like i remember we went to hank's convention in 95 or 96 and straight after this like a few days later there was a huge group of us from amsterdam that flew to moscow for the first uh, russian tattoo convention oh cool so this this was great because this was a whole bunch of people on a plane for four four hours to get from Amsterdam to Moscow, and then we arrived and we'd all be staying in the same hotel there. And wow, that was that was a culture shock. I mean, <laughs> that was like wow, where are we? Yeah. Um, the cars on the street, you know, like completely yeah you get so used to i mean yeah europe and america is different but there were cars i'd never fucking heard of them you know it was just like these old cars go driving around and you're like fuck i didn't even know they existed yeah um was that a big hit in, in russia was there a big crowd that it drew yeah it was great absolutely great i mean there were there were so many um, eye openers because you had this scene in Russia that, that actually not many people had heard of, but there were actually people working on the convention with homemade machines that had kind of like syringe kind of looking tools attached to a a, mach a rotary machine with color inside where the needle was and. Mm. Um, there was another guy there who was like showing us a machine that was just a, a it was a wind up like a, a wind up motor like in a clock oh wow um but it was an electric not an electric a wind up um ra uh, razor oh wow and they turned that into a tattoo machine clockwork yeah. wireless tattoo exactly machine. exactly so oh, yeah. yeah there you go uh, for all the people using battery operated stuff i mean there's, there's alternatives when you ain't got no batteries right <laughs> well they're they were quite known in russia for for the bit of the diy weren't they as far as as far as making their own machine i mean it, they're known for the prison tattoos and uh uh, you know, um, it, was, it was quite a thing, wasn't it, with the with the mafia? Oh, incredible! I mean, and anybody who's who's really kind of invested time to have a look at it, um, they do, they also do amazing work. There's amazing yeah. tattooers. They have their own thing going completely. And um, I mean, of course, now times changed. Instagram, and we have connection with russia as much as anywhere else in the world but at this period it was like it, they had their own unique way of doing things huh? and it it was it was great and they were they were also i mean russian russian kind of i mean when i when i first got there it was it was like this kind of i i felt like there was this very kind of cold kind of um yeah not not a not a warm kind of character in front of you i mean i remember walking around in the hotel and you know looking at the girls while um, we're checking into the hotel and uh, i'm looking at the receptionist uh, <clears throat> giving us our rooms and I'm kind of saying hi and uh, sorry I don't speak Russian but um, you know trying to speak a, a little bit of pidgin English make it easy for them and I was looking at her and it was this stone cold face and I remember walking away thinking why wow, this is going to be my mission this weekend just to get a little smile out of this girl you know it's <laughs> Which I did manage. I did manage. No, but, um, what was it that finally cracked her? <laughs> oh, I can't remember in the <laughs> end. I think I think it was my persistence. <laughs> um, so 
Yeah, that we, we, while we were working the show, I mean, they, they organized a fantastic show. It was like, you know, of course, there was the kind of party before where we could mingle. And, um, of course, there, uh, I actually traveled there with, with Philip and Titine. And, yeah, there was loads more of us. But we... we kind of had a booth together and and we worked on the show together oh no nice. um yeah that, I, actually that, that and we had these small excursions a little bit to check out the the, the kind of culture of of moscow oh, very um, cool. we've been, been pushed in a directions to go and check out a, a cool flea market the hotel wasn't too far from Red Square, so we went and had a look at the uh, the crazy buildings there. The, the I mean, it's amazing, yeah. The the church kind of looking. Uh, I can't even remember what he called it, the Kremlin, yeah. Like the Tetris looking. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's outrageous when you stand in front of it. Um, so we actually. As of like Philip and me, we actually on this on this flea market, we decided to like get ourselves a kind of uniform that might make it easier for people to kind of recognize us. And we thought we might be slipping into the kind of Russian, you know, background, if you like. So we we found ourselves like a a, a KGB coat. <laughs> and uh hat and and I think Philip had like a special forces tank commander uh coat and hat and so we both had boots on and jeans, you know, and we we'd be walking around like we were something out of the military. Oh that's and if I if I think back, I don't, I'm not sure if it was such a wise kind of decision, but <laughs> yeah, we didn't we didn't get into any trouble really. It was um yeah, it kept us warm and and put a few laughs on the tattooers faces for sure. He didn't, um, he didn't get his head shaved by any military uh, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that's But cool. and, yeah, Moscow um absolutely fantastic. You know who who was actually there too was Lyle Tuttle. Okay. Lyle Tuttle visited that show with us. He was, I guess he was in, I'm not sure if he was in Amsterdam before or if he met us in, in Russia. Yeah. But um, yeah, amazing. And, uh, and I remember one night there was, there was a choice to go to like a, a Russian club kind of discotheque thing where they wanted to make a party or you could go with the night wolves which is a, a russian motorcycle gang um to their clubhouse in gorky park so there was like a handful of us that just said yeah 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 i want to go to gorky park you know like <laughs> so we got picked up in these vans and driven through gorky park by the river, um, and it it's it's huge. I, it took a little while to get through, but it was weird. There were like these kind of military checkpoints where oh. the car would stop, and there would be guards opening gates, and then you go in, you know, and then it would happen again, and then and then we arrived at their clubhouse, and it was like this huge amphitheater disused amphitheater that went down by uh, towards the river and so their clubhouse was right at the top and they'd made a huge fire and they were like just crates and crates of drinks there and um we vodka, I'm assuming. stayed them Exactly. Crates and crates of vodka. It was, it was hilarious. It was like looking at, you know, where is there some water or a Coke or something <laughs> to mix with this stuff? No. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> and it was like, oh, okay. 
So, I, I mean, I can, I can actually vouch for, like, the Russian... I, I kind of learned how to drink vodka at that thing. Mm. And um, it's after you've taken, like, two or three swigs of this stuff that it actually goes down like water. It's actually quite dangerous. <laughs> so... You're there and they've got these small Coca-Cola sized bottles of vodka and it's just that you can, can swig back on this stuff. It was very interesting. But there were, there was many tattooers there and um, yeah, these these uh, motorcycle gang, the Night Wolves, they, they took us also into their kind of garage and showed us all these old Russian motorcycles and... It was brilliant. I mean, they they were top hosts, absolutely uh, fantastic. And this setting in this old amphitheater, and uh, it was it was magical. Yeah. Oh, so um, yeah, this 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 was like Russia. Mm -hmm.